that today. I'm going to read you up to chapter two. Remember, you have chosen a teacher, but she will have Chloe. But remember, it will. It has to be an interesting one. It's like a teacher will make the. A interesting story for this. I'm gonna start. Chapter two. I woke up early the next morning, way before the alarm went off, and way before Ashley. I was excited. Last year, Dad used to drop me off at school, but this year, I was going to catch the bus with Danny. I didn't want to miss it, especially not on the first day. Ashley kept telling me the bus wasn't the great, but wasn't that great. But I didn't care what she thought. I was looking forward to it. Ashley was waiting outside the shower when I got out. About time, she said, which is funny because she takes ten times longer than I do in the bathroom. Ashley and I used to be good friends, but Ashley thinks. She's too cool to hang out with me now. She's in high school. Back in my room, I got my school uniform out of the wardrobe. It was hanging next to my favorite skirt, the one with the glittery flowers. I wore, I wore my skirt. All the time during the holidays, but that day I was actually excited to put on my uniform again, even though it doesn't glitter. I look much older in it. Then I did my hair. I always do my own hair. And I like making up new hairstyles. The one I thought of the day was pretty tricky, and I spent so long on it that I started to run out of time. When I looked at the clock, I got a fright. If I didn't hurry, I was going to miss the bus. I rushed to the kitchen and ate my cereal really quickly. I knew Danny would be waiting for me at the bus stop. Slow down," said Mama, smiling. "You will be sick." I slowed down a bit, but not much. I really don't want to miss the bus," I explained. Dad shook his head. Anyone would think you would rather catch the bus to school than get a lift with me," he said. I gave him a hug. It was fun drunk with you when I was little," I said, because I didn't want him to feel bad. Then I really had to go. See ya! I called, running out the door. But I had to come back in straight away. I'd forgotten my school bag. Ashley rolled her eyes. You would think she never made mistakes. Danny was already at the bus stop when I arrived. She looked excited. I think it's coming, she said. I think it's coming," she said. Sure enough, the school bus appeared around the corner and slowed to a stop. 
but the moment I got one, I wasn't sure I wanted to be there anymore. It was really crowded, and the other kids all looked much older than us. It was really noisy too. Everyone was talking over the top of each other. There aren't any seats left. I whispered to Danny as we squeezed down the aisle. I wondered if it was too late to get a lift. That Dad, after all. But then Dad, Danny pointed. Look, there are two spots. She said, and dragged me to some spare seats right at the back of the bus. We would only be sitting down for a minute when the boy in front of us turned around. He stared at us like us like we were from another planet. Sometimes the older kids think they. Can bust everyone else around. They act like their own worst teachers. Callum is like that. Don't you know the rules? He said, giving us a really nasty look. No little kids down the back of the bus. I was ready to move straight away, but not Danny. She didn't give up easily. She wasn't scared of anything, either. Big dogs, big kids, big storms, nothing. We're not little kids, she said. Little kids aren't even allowed to catch the bus. Callum looked annoyed. If I say you're a little kid, then you are one. He growled. Everyone around us went quiet. They were waiting to see what will what would happen. Come on, Danny, I muttered. There are some seats up the front. Your friend's right, Callum said to Danny. That's where the shrimps belong. Well, then you should go up there," replied Danny. "I'm much taller than you." Everyone laughed then, because it was true, even though she was much younger than Callum. Danny was taller. <laughs> Yeah, Cam. One of his friends said, "You should go up with all the little kids." Cam looked like he was worried someone really would make him move. No, he said, crossing his arms, "I'm not going anywhere." Everyone turned back around and started talking again. It looked like we could stay. I squeezed, I squeezed Danny's hand and thought, for about the hundredth time, how lucky I was to have her as my best friend. Did you? That's the end of chapter two. Did you like watching? Remember to describe. <laughs> Sorry, subscribe, not describe.